I felt that we were very well prepared to go into that first cluster meeting. I felt confident in, in running the PLC um, after the training that we'd received and it was a very good and clear model to follow. Um, I had really good feedback from, from, from the people who came to the cluster meeting. Yeah. One of the things that I found was they, they, they really did want to talk an awful lot about the document. They were not quite as sure about the Unison document as I perhaps would have, mm. have liked. So there, there was a lot of discussion around that as, as, as an actual piece of, piece of research, but very positive feedback, very positive engagement, and people were very prepared to take on board the action plan, fill it in, and have those conversations around the table, which, which I found really, really very useful. Yeah. I think the training helped with that, didn't it? Because I know that one of my anxieties going into it was the fact that I come at things from a secondary perspective. Mm -hmm. You know, was everyone else that I was working going to be primary mm -hmm. schools, special schools? Um, but actually, there was a bit of time to kind of get your head around how mm -hmm. that might look for the different phases. Um, and I, th I found that really useful. And actually, mm -hmm. it's one of the things that already I'm enjoying about the piece of project work yes. because I'm sort of you know picking up ideas. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to see things from a different point of view. And I think that's a real strength of the project that people from different schools are working together yeah. in that different way. I was going to say exactly the same. One of, the, one of the key things that came from our PLC was the, again, um, one of colleagues that works in special schools, in fact, I rated over two special schools actually. Um, some of the, in terms of TA deployment, they seemed a bit ahead of the game and they were able to share some of their expertise mm -hmm. with us in that, in that sense. That, that was wonderful to be able to share that commonality mm -hmm. within the cluster, which we found very beneficial. And to see that some schools are adopting strategies that we can take on board ourselves was, mm -hmm. was something excellent to share. And then, as you, you've said, taking back into our common day practice at school, how significant it is, and it actually is weaving through um, our school development priorities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a good fit actually, wasn't yeah. it? Taking uh, you know the sort of planning that we had to do and yeah. being able to then go and look at things, yes. you know, with a leadership team and mm -hmm. kind of you know not feel that you were bolting on uh, something extra to the school development plan, yeah. but that you yeah. were yeah. able yeah. to kind of you know look at your um, school development plan and, and, and find a fit mm -hmm. there, and you know the fact that it's going to drive learning and potentially then the student outcomes. Mm -hmm. You know is, that's always going to feature for every school, isn't it? And mm -hmm. you know that felt really positive actually. Mm -hmm. I like how the process is, is modelling the message as well, so I know at the first PLC that the issues that came up actually shaped the way the second PLC for, for the clusters uh, yes. leads yes. changed yes. and actually we've had the same already in, in my small cluster, mm -hmm. the conversations about recommendation two, we, we couldn't stick to recommendation two, we, we ended up looking at all the other recommendations as well, so actually their, their conversations are mirroring the same conversations. And that's we've genuine had. excitement and it interest is, yeah. to start the work, isn't it, I yes. think as well, because yes. people are kind of wanting to, you're right, it, yeah. you always feel like you want to blink people a little yes. bit, you yeah. know, when you've got that focus, but inevitably the, you know, the conversation sort of stretches out and it's, you know, that that's one of the really interesting things and it may, underlines the relevance, I guess, doesn't it, and again, for everyone. I don't know if you found the same, but again, the same problems that we talked about they're having. So it's obviously mm. not just isolated schools, it's a, you know, mm. special schools, again, secondary schools, mm. everyone's having the same issues. And I think we found very useful, didn't we, at the, at the cluster league training, we were able to have that conversation about how it looks in primary school, how it looks in the secondary school. Can us working collaboratively then become a tool for transition as well, didn't we? Yes. We were yeah. to think Absolutely. about that in terms of TA deployment. How, how, how does that sit in with, with, with schools working together as clusters to, 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 to to narrow that gap and, to, and, to, and to, to bring together that commonality of thinking really um, mm -hmm. across sectors. We talked a lot in my cluster meeting about the tight but loose since quite a lot of our schools on the east coast mm -hmm. are small primary schools mm -hmm. and capacity came into play quite a lot so we discussed the fact that we had an opportunity to enjoy uh, embarking upon the project rather than we needed to all be doing the same thing and I think that that was really important uh, to recognise a different flavour uh, for each different school. Yeah. I think it's important as well you mentioned kind of the positivity mm. around you know the people aren't coming in negatively and mm. coming in with moments of oh, it's not going to work it's actually there is a very positive feel yes. to how can this work for my school mm. which is Enjoyment is a key word, isn't it? Because you know what we're actually doing is, is looking at, at motivating people to take this yeah. forward and build on build on the good practice that we know is already there, and, and, and we want people to be enthusiastic, and, and, and I think that that's 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 a key feature of taking it forward. Yeah, I think there is a, a shared ownership within school, and, and everybody around the table was talking about that. That you know people would relish the opportunity to work together to sh have shared planning time, to have shared meeting time and to communicate more effectively. I, you know, everybody yeah. in my school and in the cluster, you know, nobody said that that wasn't going to be something that was It was interesting, important. wasn't it, taking the action plans back yeah. in and, mm -hmm. you know, we're privileged because we've got that overview, we yes. can kind of flick through them and see, you know, and you're right, uh, you know, everyone's, um, you know, ideas and areas to improve aren't so different, are they, no, no, at all, all. Um, but equally, you know, they are 
actions that you can see will have an impact mm -hmm. you know it, even just small actions in in you know short term initially but actually you know looking up and ahead and thinking about okay how do we plan for the next academic year mm -hmm. as well you know to just to, to kind of prioritize that in people's thinking i think is mm -hmm. you know quite quite an exciting thing really isn't it? and again the fact it's not just about developing tas it's it's uh, teachers absolutely. do yeah, one time, it's yes, about you know, upskilling yeah, teachers yeah, as, well, yeah. as much as yeah. it is TAs. Because we have a great world of very, very skilled TAs, mm. don't we? And it's we about do. actually how can we support them in making it the best possible opportunity for them, their yes. career development, giving them consistency, giving them giving them a, a real chance to shine, and, and, to, and, and, and through doing that, to be able to, you know, better work alongside teachers, uh, being, being trained side by side for better outcomes for all the children, really.